This is Gumpy. He is the YouTube OG kitty. He is in a lot of my real old videos. Aren't you real? Oh, he's a scaredy cat. Come here, buddy. Come, oh, oh, he's not a he's not a holder, are you? Are oh, ya? Yeah. Say I'm a lover, but I don't want you to hold me. <laughs> to share with you guys how I have styled my thrifted Christmas decor slash it's not really Christmas decor but I made it go together um so I have been as you guys have seen I have been picking up things well if I can I pick it up all year kitty cat but um I've been finding it a lot since about October. So um, I had quite a few guys ask to see the little displays that I created. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. So if you want to see that, stay tuned because I'm about to show you. All right, let's start with my kitchen counter. First, I have this Dollar Tree bin that I hauled, and I just have it holding our bread. I usually have a bread basket, but I swapped it out for this one. Then, I have this lovely vintage-inspired deer mug. I think it came from Michael's a few years ago, but I love it. I got this from Target this year, from the Target Dollar Spot. It's really neat. It actually has a bunch of interchangeable signs. <laughs> So, I think that's really cool. Then, I made this tear tray this year, actually. It's got something on there. Kids messing with stuff. Um, I made it this year. It is made from a pizza pan and two different size pie pans and then um, white candlestick holders. That is all from the Dollar Tree. And I spray painted them all white and then I just brushed some black paint around the rim to make it look like it was an enameled uh, tray. And then I just waited for it to dry and decorated it. This has been so many different ways <laughs> because I've brought pieces in that were actually for sale and had them sitting out so that I could see them too before they went off to their new homes and they've sold. So. I've styled them, I styled this tray over and over and over again. So, um, currently, I think the only thing that is for sale that's on this tray is this. And it's so cute. It's got a couple little paint gloss areas, but you would put coffee in there. And it looks like a stove. So, that's about the only thing. So, if it goes, then I'll put something else up there. I got some little ornaments, some trees, salt and pepper shakers, all kinds of little things. Then I got this. This I got at St. Vincent this year. I don't think it's old. It's a made of China sticker. So, I mean, it could be back to the 90s or something, but it's made to look old. And that's fine with me. <laughs> I got these little kissing salt and pepper shakers. Um, I already sold a pair, but this pair I wanted to keep. I got them for 99 cents. I don't care. I leave stickers on there because I like to be reminded of my fantastic deal <laughs> that I got. And then you guys saw this in my other video. This is my little Santa mug collection. And there is another piece right here. This Santa moon is another piece that my husband's grandfather whittled. Um, he passed away when I was pregnant with my son. Um, so... Yeah, so every, you know, there's a couple pieces that I keep out all year, but during Christmas, I definitely bring those out to remember him by. Then we just have the truck. I remember I got this truck last Christmas. It was at our local grocery store. They sell these little trucks and cars, you know, the ones that pull back and go on like an end cap. And our grocery store does rewards points. And I had enough rewards points to buy this truck. It was like $6 there. 
So I bought the truck and I was so excited because I wanted it for the Christmas displays. I mean, I want it in real life, but for the displays as well. Then I just got a couple of things from Joanne sitting here, this thing here. They were like 70% off. So they were like, I don't know, like 65 cents or something. And then just some other little thrifted items. I got this tree from St. Vincent, my little wooden ornaments. This is from St. Vincent. <laughs> All these mugs are thrifted. I didn't buy any of this stuff like online or at the store except her a few years ago. So that is my kitchen counter area. Then we have this beast. It might take me a minute to share everything with you guys. Might lose my breath a little bit, but let's dive in. <laughs> All right. I thrifted this, this church uh, from the Way and Pay. Well, you guys call it the bins, but I call it the way and pay. And I always will. <laughs> um, it was just a couple dollars thrifted there because, you know, it's ceramic. And, well, no, I take it back. Glass is 49 cents a pound there. So, yeah, it was about a couple dollars. So, anyways, um, you guys remember this guy. He's thrifted. I just put him next to the church with the tree like he's singing. This doesn't really make sense there, but it's there. <laughs> So we got that and the clouds just, oh, the sun just went behind the clouds. So let's turn that on. I wish it would cool off with that sun going behind the clouds, 80 degrees here. Ugh. So we got a little Christmas swanky swig glass. It was the one and only one. Oh, and I got some random hair on here. That's great. My hair is everywhere. Um, it's like cat hair. So yeah, I got these, got this one, lonely swanky swig glass from an estate sale last year that I went to with my buddy Rob. It was the only Christmas one, so I kept it. These little aluminum things were really cool. They came in a big box of ornaments that I got from St. Vincent this year, a few videos back. It was a big old box for like $10. And these were actually in there under some tissue paper. I never went through that particular box with you guys. Um, but yeah, these were in there. I was excited. So I made them look like little flowers. Then I got, I do I need to keep saying they were all thrifted? Just assume it was all thrifted. I will tell you when we come across something that was not. <laughs> so got this cute little jewelry box and I put my mercury glass beads in it. I just wanted it open so you could see the pretty color contrast. And well, these this is not mercury glass. That I think was a lonely little ornament left from a uh, craft project that I did, so I threw it in there. This little girl, obviously thrifted. <laughs> Got her. My random deer, doesn't really go, but again, I kind of have a way of making things still look okay, even though they don't really go together. <laughs> Got a little cloche here. I should have picked a different, I mean, I still can, like a different ornament. It's just, I was like, I had this ornament and I had this cloche, and I was like, where am I gonna put this? And where am I going to put this? So then I just put them together and that's how it went. <laughs> and then I got my little Christmas card from D from the Thrill of the Thrifts. Thanks, D. Um, I just got that like day before yesterday. I got my cloche. I techni technically, I typically, look, it still got a sticker on there. I didn't even get it off all the way. Um, I typically have that uh, cloche out all year long with different things in it, depending on my mood, I guess, whatever season and etc. <laughs> but I stacked some Santa mugs in there this year. My lovely, lovely boxes. I am going to see if I can find little price tags I can take off of things and uh, kind of glue them, you know, like vintage price tags and glue them over where they wrote on the boxes because that's not very attractive at all. So, oh, and you guys just saw me find this. I bought it because I wanted the hanger. And again, I was gonna put a better ornament, not that this isn't beautiful, but I had a different ornament in mind, but the little ring wouldn't slide through here. It was a purple, purple kugel ornament that has since sold, so I don't even have it anymore anyway. Well, actually it sold, and then I found the same exact one again at the thrift store, so I just relisted another one, but that's besides the point. So let's go up a shelf. So let's go here. 
I still have mom's plants back here, kind of blocking it with my vintage card box. I was excited to find this last year. I think I got it for like 89 cents. And it actually had, here, let me take it down and I'll show you. All right, so it had these little vintage gift tags. And one of the cute things that I saw that was in here, is it still here? I hope, yeah, I saved it, is this. It was a Christmas card that a little kid made for their parents on a piece of notebook paper. So Michael and Michelle colored their parents a little Christmas card with markers and stuff, made their little family. So I kept that in here and it had some envelopes. There was some cards, but they weren't anything that were of my interest. I don't know why the envelopes are still in here. I'll have to, cause look, they get so old, they get glued shut. So unless you craft with them and to use them for like, like envelope books and stuff, I don't, there's no point in me having those. But the other ones I just bagged up and I took them to my booth for sale. So that is what was in this little box. All right, back to it. I've had this Santa sleigh for years. I want to say I got this at the Wayne Pay as well. Um, he had like a little fixed ear and everything. And I believe it is, yeah, is that Yukago? No, Anarcho. It's an Anarcho sleigh. And I have some vintage ornaments just kind of sitting in here. Now, this right here was not thrifted. I cannot... Um, find like an original vintage Christmas tree with the little ornaments on it. And then of course I love Santa mugs. So I think it was a year or two ago I got this. I think I went on Black Friday before, before, yeah, before work because our store didn't open as early as other stores did because we were going by the mall hours. So I had like an hour or two before I had to be at work and I went and into Michael's to see their Black Friday stuff. And I bought that ornament for myself. Then we have another Shiny Brights box over there. That one was mangled. <laughs> I had to fix the uh, plastic screen on that one. And I had to put bigger ornaments in there because if you notice, the little dividers are gone, the little cardboard dividers. So, and they kept like falling forward. So I took the smaller ones out, replaced it with some bigger ones, and it helped them stay there. Then I have these. Oh, look, I still love, I love the price tag. It's so classy. <laughs> but this little, it's almost like a terry cloth, like a towel feeling, made in Japan little guy. Then we have her, oh, I remember uh, the cashier at St. Vincent thought she was just so ugly. And she wouldn't give me her, she would not sell her to me for $2. I think she threw her in the 50 cent pile. I'd have to go back and check my video. I don't remember, but I know she made her cheaper. And then Bianca picked out this little wagon one of the times we went for 50 cents. And I threw some jingle bells in there. Then we have this little puppy, looked Christmassy to me. Little Japan puppy. So I set it out here. She's been in a couple of different spots, but because I was trying not to cover too much of the wording on the, the cheese box. Then we've got this teeny tiny little Japan bell, but it doesn't have a little dingy thing. Then my beloved letter to Santa that I need to get I want to get like an era appropriate frame for it. That's why it's kind of just sitting out. Then we have these that I just picked up a few videos back, a bunch of more mercury glass ornaments. They were from an antique store. I think I, nope, I took the, oh no, they took the tag off because the dealer gets the money. But yeah, I left them in there because I just thought, what the heck? I'll display them like that. Then I have this big old bottle brush tree and I actually made this myself, not the tree, but did the ornament thing because like I said, I've never found a vintage one and even the modern ones that are at like Hobby Lobby, they're like 20 and $30. So I got these little ornaments, 
like I said, that were like this from Dollar Tree. And I just plopped them on in there. And then I got these styrofoam balls because they had different sizes. And I glued those in there. And voila, I have my own tree. <laughs> then I have these like tart tins with these little vintage clip-on ornaments that still have the price tag on them. I don't know why I do that. I mean, I do know why I do that, but <laughs> I don't know. My... I was about to say Nightmare Before Christmas. My Night Before Christmas book. I thrifted that at St. Vincent. So far, St. Vincent has been my luckiest spot for older things, you know. Same with this. This is from St. Vincent. I just put a little bit of tinsel in the back because it's a planter and it had nothing in it. And I was kind of probably going overkill with bottle brush trees, so I just put some tinsel all right, so then I have another little jewelry box, and I had, like, I had jingle bells like these that were on a card, but the card was just falling into pieces, so, and, and these were, like, falling off in the, in the, the bag that they were in, so I just put them, I opened them up and put them in there, and then we got these two, um, he was from last year, I believe, he was broken, and I think he was on a free table, so I took him because he's got some lashes on him. Yeah, he's a sassy Santa. And then I think this was from St. Vincent as well. Hmm, I don't remember where I got you, little lady, but she needs, she typically comes with a partner to spell out Noel, you know, but we're going to leave her there. These are modern. I just got these from um, Walmart. I think they were $2.98 in ornaments, but I bought two to put them together like they were a pair because, oh my gosh, I've always wanted a pair of vintage ice skates to do something like that with. Not that you would ever see an ice skating pond here in Florida, but whatever. <laughs> then I've had this for years as well, this um, lantern thing, and... Who do we have up here but Gabriel's elf? Well, he's the kid's elf, but Gabriel pays more attention to him than Bianca does. Then we have my Starburst Tart Tin that I'm using to create some height to hold up my, um, what is that one? I think that one's the cream cheese. Nope, craft cheese. One of them, maybe that one's. One of them is cream cheese. But anyways, it's holding up that container. And I have all kinds of little goodies in there. I have like a sewing box. All the, I just love it all. You see it, take it all in. It's there. All right, next shelf. We have some random glass balls that I ironically stuck between Santa's legs. I mean, you know, I guess I can find another home for those that I'm just noticing. It's between his legs. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I have this tree topper that is just marvelous. It's got a little broken top, but that's okay with me. We have it sticking out of Santa's noggin. And then I have this little Santa Avon bottle. And this, I think clear glass was 50% um, off, so he was 50 cents. Oh no, Christmas was 50% off. And then another vintage bottle brush tree. These are ones I really, really love with these bases here on a frog, a flower frog, so it can create some height. My arms are starting to hurt because this shelf is above my head. <laughs> then we have these little mugs inside of this crate, which is, which is actually from Bath & Body Works. I used to get these crates all the time with my free item coupon so I can use them for this type of stuff. And then I have here this light. I never put a light in it. I have to get like a light little unit thing. And I wanted to get some little, those beads. I guess you can get them at Hobby Lobby to replace in the trees. But it was like $3. And I think that was at hospice last year before the uh, manager that I tell you about that is like really pricey and looks everything up on eBay, moved there. So yeah, got my tree light. Then those are the only little putz houses I have and they were handmade by me. So technically I really don't have any, <laughs> but I like to think I do. I made these out of some cereal boxes. 
um, just glued some trees and some wreaths and tons of glitter because I love glitter and sparkly stuff. And oh wait, maybe that's the cream cheese box. That's what it is. Okay, and then I have these here that actually when I put them away, I wrap them up in paper and put them away just like that. And when I unwrap them, they come out just like that. So that's filled with ornaments from that I found last year. Then we got the beloved planter girl that was like so mistreated. Oh, poor thing, but she had to come home with me. Then we got this snowman that is just so happy to have that candy cane, like ridiculously happy to have that candy cane. And I love him, he's awesome. Then we got that little ornament right there. What is that called, a jewel bright? Yeah, jewel bright was on the free table where my antique booth is. And then we have this ginormous Frosty. He was, I think, $6 at, hmm, I think it was hospice last year, the year before. And I thought he was painted pretty well, but he's also someone cool. He's not like a regular Holland mold. I forget who he is, but he's a more sought after mold. So that is my display that is in my kitchen along with the palette sign that I made and these little signs that I picked up from the Target dollar spot. That is the artwork that I had that my mom got inspiration from and created a t-shirt. So that is what I have in my kitchen. Now moving out to my hallway, I have this little, it's like a dresser behind my advent calendar there's a mirror i have some videos in the past that you can see what it actually looks like with the mirror but um the old display or the old like um cabinet that i had that i would put the advent calendar on i don't have that anymore so i'm this year this go around i'm lacking a lot of the sort of um countertop space you know like surface space to put little decorations on. So some things might seem like crammed together because I I ran, I don't have the space. So anyway, so I just have this stuff here. You guys just seen me find these little modern putz houses, though they look older. So I thought it would be perfect for this display out in my hallway. This one is more, like 1920s to 40s and I think the other one was a good 1950s 60s kitschy looking that's what it looked like that's what how I feel when I look at it so we just got this is an old chocolates box that I got at a yard sale and it actually has thread spools like like these in them and like this and so I used it for some height and I put my trees, my bottle brush trees that I made in the DIY last week. And I, the ones that have the knobs, so I put them there with some thrifted little angels. And then I have my tin from where my antique booth is. <laughs> it's so funny because I wanted to create a display, but I'm like, these bottle brush trees are not that tall. So on the bottom, I have like, I have two coffee cups. I have a fridgy dish and then the trees and the snow to prop it up. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what works, right? Then I just have this little dish that usually has my candle sit on it, but I brought the candle to the other room and then this was left empty, so I just put some little doodads on there and that's how it stayed. And then I have my um, telegraph wire or telegraph pole insulators here and I just flip them over and I use them as tree stands um, there's quite a few of my metal detecting friends in the north. Um, my stepdad has also, oh, that tree's a little crooked. My stepdad has also found these when he was a kid here in Florida. Or no, was it in Florida? No, he lived in, oh gosh, not Rhode Island. That's my mom's family. Um, oh my gosh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, my, my stepdad's from up north as well. So as a kid, he would have been up there maybe possibly down here but he would find them when he'd be out and about playing like in the woods and stuff um so but a lot of my metal detecting friends my bottle hunting friends 
on here on YouTube and stuff have found those metal detecting and I would love to find one. They have, they sent some to me because they're like a diamond dozen up there. But for me, I'm like, oh my God. So that's how I acquired mine. I have a couple other like clear ones, but I just use this color. Um, not to mention my clear one, it rocks. It won't stay up. Those have more like a flat bottom. So that's what I used for my little trees. And then this is another jewelry box that I have. I actually had something else here. I had my old safety deposit box from a Kentucky bank, but I was, I, while it was on display, like, like waiting for Christmas to get here, I was using it, but it was intended as a Christmas present. So, um, I took it out and I had to wrap it and put it under the tree. So I'm using the little jewelry box that I bought a few videos back. Then I bought this, hoping that it was going to be like a better price, like a worth more than it was, and it wasn't. It was just one of those times where I didn't get a very good signal in there. So I just kept it. I thought it would be a good display piece for Christmas and, you know, for whatever, but Christmas especially. So I just filled it with some Christmas ornaments here. Then I got, I actually just got this today. I am not, there was two of them there. Um, I was not 100% that it was vintage. I don't, I'm thinking it was made to look that way. However, both of them, this one is a lot more clean than the other. The other one was real dirty. This one was cracked. The other one wasn't, but the other one was like super dirty. So since I wasn't sure of their age, I just got the one and filled it with these like candle clips for the Christmas tree. So if you guys know, I there is some snowman buckets that I've seen that are older, but I've never seen this particular one. So if you know, let me know. Then we got some old, um, this one I actually, well, okay. So this one was from an estate sale. I bought like a box of um, family photos and stuff and that was in there like letters and things. And then remember I just showed you guys, I found that uh, like that plastic putz house type village. I forget the actual name of it, but it had like accessories and stuff in the second box. Well, this was in the bottom of the box underneath the accessories was this Santa face or this, no, his face is ripped, but was this Santa card. This one wasn't for anything. This one was for a bank. And they banks gave that these out a lot back in the day because they were really big with um, like Christmas accounts. So then I got, this is normally where my red truck is in this thing, but um, Gabriel actually gave me this old car to use and I thought it was perfect for out here. So I swapped the red truck for this one and I just have a little Santa ornament that's in there. And then I have this lonely old, I don't know, I don't think that's a deer, but it kind of looks, I don't know. Is that a deer? You got me. But I put that out here, a little candlestick holder with a tree in it. Then I had this for sale for a long time and it never sold. Um, I got it at Salvation Army. I want to say I paid like five bucks for it. It was an awesome deal. I sold the other things that I found that day, like the weighing scoop and stuff, but this one never sold. So I said, you know what? I'm going to keep it because I've seen really cool displays of it and I want to use it. So I kept it. And then I put all of these are older bottle brush trees that have the mica and stuff on the bottom. So I have these random little, like this is a sterling silver. Oops, here we go again. This is a sterling silver cup that actually I think it has an engraving on it. Oh, I think it's over here, but I wanted to handle the show. Yeah. It says like Joan or something. But I wanted to handle the show, so can't see that. And then I just have this little copper thing that didn't have a lid. So I stuck a tree in there. Got these little handmade ice skate ornaments. A random candle light. I don't know why I kept it from last year. <laughs> I don't know. It gets really hot, that light bulb. So let's pan up here. That is our, my my aunt, my mom's sister-in-law made this for us a few years ago, this advent system, this calendar thing. 
and it was the coolest thing. And she gave it to us all filled, had all kinds of little goodies in it. And at the very end, on the 24th, this very last bag had baby Jesus in it. And when you, because you got to open the different pieces to the set, to the nativity. And it was just the coolest thing. So I really love that. Then I just shoved some stuff up there. It didn't really go together, but hey, that's just me. Then I have my little shelf. This was actually on my counter, if you guys remember that, for Halloween and for fall. And I hung it up here with this sort of vintage-inspired um, frame and postcard. It looks, it does look old, but it's not. You go in the back and it's like made in China. And then I got this little wooden shoe in a box of stuff that I got from an estate sale and I just thought it was charming. It's someone's senior, well, junior, senior, maybe prom from 1929. That's the little Santa that was in the village set that I found, like in the, uh, in the accessories with like the fences and stuff along with him he was on the bottom but i couldn't see him then we have this little german house i got that at this same estate sale that i tell you guys i mean i got so much stuff there we filled my suv like <clears throat> to the roof so i always kept that little house have that right there hold on let me get my hand my right hand can get some action um <laughs> This little crota bell is very old. It was found by one of my metal detecting buddies up north. This dates from the late 17th century to the mid 18th century. So it's very cool and it still rings. And the horses would have worn these. Um, a lot of the, especially like the back road, like the country horses to let other people other carriages and stuff know that they were coming and then this is gabriel and bianca's polar express bell do you guys believe so i put that there and then we got just some spools and this little toothpick holder and then over here i do not have enough little tiny christmas knickknacks to fill this thing so i left it like i normally leave it or like it normally is I added little Christmas trees and then I added these little angels right here and then those teeny tiny little tins that I got at St. Vincent added those so that there oh look at my well my sister made me that Kirby you guys know that character from Mario <laughs> my sister made me him for it was either my birthday or Christmas last year so that is my display that is in my hallway. All right, this is super duper simple, but this is my guest bathroom or the kids bathroom. And I've had this, I got this at the Way and Pay like years ago, and it's been everywhere in my house in all different displays. But this time I hung it in the bathroom because I had inspiration from this hand towel that I picked up at um, Dollar Tree. So I put it in here, I propped this little Target dollar spot sign up in it, and then sitting on the back of the toilet actually is this that I usually have in my other displays, or, um, well, it, it used, it, I use it in all kinds of stuff, but um, I had, I open up bars of soap, and I'll put the soaps in here, or, um, you know, what are those called, bath bombs, I put those in there. So just a little something something in my guest bathroom. Here's another little something with my crooked trees <laughs> that are in there. Oh, I gotta fix those. But it's this old lantern looking, I mean, it's a I'm pretty positive it's a reproduction, but it looks old. So the reason why they're crooked is because I have shoved a little light in there. I don't have any of my little twinkle lights. Well, I do, but I don't have batteries. <laughs> Story of my life. So I had shoved this other little light in there that had a battery in it, and it like smushed them all together. So that's another little thing. It's by my cabinet that I have all my other little collections and metal detecting finds and stuff. So it's not technically Christmas, but I have lots of good stuff in there. So yeah, 
that is another little area with some Christmas. So I showed you guys this. Oh no, you fell over. The other day I showed you my favorite Santa Claus. So my furniture that I just acquired, my mom got it for me from my aunt. The same one that uh, made the advent bag for me. It doesn't really match. Like you can't just throw the Christmas pillows. It's got this pretty, um, it's like basset furniture and it's got this pretty uh, floral pattern. So I kind of tossed like a Christmas blanket on it so that I could have somewhere for my pillows to be that I didn't, that I wasn't like, oh my God, it doesn't match. I mean, it is what it is. You have to work with what you got, right? And then I have our stockings that my mom handmade. My mom like literally sewed all of this, all of these. This is Gabriel's. Bianca has mine in her room because she was filling it. Um, this is Bianca's. She loves Supernatural. So my mom got Supernatural material. And then this is my husband's, but ours look exactly the same. So that was part of our Christmas gift last year. My mom, well, she, she, she's she been doing that. Like my aunt and does it as well. Like they do a handmade gift along with their other stuff. So, and these pillows came from the Target dollar spot. This was a bag and I had a, actually a smaller pillow in here. Um, and I snuck it from my husband. It's one that he likes to like put between his knees because his, um, his back or something bothers him. So he puts it between his knees and he's like, where's my pillow? And he's like, did you throw it away? <laughs> he thinks, <laughs> that poor pillow. He thinks that I have it out for that pillow. So I was like, no, I didn't throw it away. Hold on. And I went and grabbed it out of his. And I don't know, he's just super funny. So he made like a big joke about it. So I shoved a different pillow in here that's actually much bigger. And it kind of, it doesn't look as good as the other pillow. But hey, like I said, again, you work with what you have. So <laughs> that's a little area in my living room. And then you guys saw this last time. Oh, I got to work around my ring light here. Let me move. You guys saw this. So look, you see the shadow of my ring light. <laughs> um my ceramic tree and then these right here these are so sweet these little bears um my sister jenna you guys have seen her in some of my videos she's 15 now and probably when she was maybe 9 10 11 something like that it was quite a few years ago um she gifted me for christmas these bears and she thrifted them and they came in still in their box and she was so proud of herself that she got those from the thrift store and they were Christmas because she knew I would love them. So I put them out every year because she got them for me. I love them. And then another Target dollar spot item and then my husband's grandpa's whittled doggy. And then like, oh, oh, don't fall over. Then my Christmas tree. So that I think is going, going to do it for the displays that I have in my house because, well, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.